Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a great week. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make three different recipes which are really fun and easy to make for your parrots. So the ones I'm gonna to make today are rainbow chop. You might be able to see on Pickles' beak, she's been enjoying it today. So she looks like she's wearing lipstick, which is quite funny because it has beetroot in it. Um, I'm also going to make a courgette and sweet balls dish. So let me know what you think about that one too. And also mini fruity pizzas. So do check them out. Let me know if you try any of these with your bird. I'd love to see what they think about them. So I feed my birds a well-rounded diet of vegetables, a small amount of fruit a couple of times a week, uh, sprouted seeds, healthy seeds and pellets as well. So it's all part of a whole balanced diet. And one thing I just wanted to point out about the rainbow chop recipe is I don't include seeds, sprouted seeds, leafy greens or fruit in that kind of chop or any chop for that matter because I find that they just go off really quickly and go moldy. So with any chop that I make, I just put vegetables in it that are root vegetables or you know things like that. Things that aren't gonna wilt when they go a little bit sort of wet. So I just wanted to just make that clear as well. Now, in addition to this, these are all my kind of recipes that I use at home with my birds. There are some fantastic parrot cookbooks out there and I just wanted to kind of draw your attention to a few of them while Pickles is dancing on my hand. It's a Parrot's Fine Cuisine cookbook. This is a really good book. There's loads of information in there. Pickles obviously really likes it. So definitely check out that one. I'll leave the links to all of these in the description. And then I've also got the Parrot's Healthy Meal Plan as well. This one's fantastic too and loads of different creative ideas in there. And also another one I wanted to mention is the cookbooks by Bird Tricks. I don't actually own them I'd love to have the physical copies but they're really expensive to ship to the UK so maybe one day if I'm lucky but um, there's loads of fantastic ideas I've seen some kind of teaser pictures in there so if you can get your hands on those they are brilliant too but as I said I'll leave everything in the description if you want to go and check them out and uh, give your birds a fantastic different variety of foods because incorporating all of these different kinds of recipes into your bird's diet it's a fantastic way of bonding with your bird and also getting them to eat lots of different fruits and vegetables. Now, if your bird is really kind of anti-vegetable, I do have a whole video with loads of other tips as to how to get your bird to eat vegetables. I'll leave a card at the top, link in the description as well if you wanna check that out too. But I suppose we better get started and start with our rainbow chop. So for your rainbow chop, you're going to need to prepare a wide variety of different colours of vegetables. Now I always go for vegetables in my chop. If I use fruit, I find that it just goes really sloppy and my birds prefer more of a crunch to their vegetables. So I started off with two different ready orangey kind of vegetables. I've got red bell pepper and I've got grated carrot. Now when you grate your carrot, just give it a really big handful of it and take it to the sink and give it a squeeze because you'll be really surprised as to how much water comes out of a carrot. And that water, as I said, can ruin your chop. Next up is a yellow vegetable. I've got sweet corn. It's not the most nutritious necessarily vegetable, but it is um, a good fun kind of addition to your chop and birds like the color. Next up is broccoli. I use broccoli in every single chop I make, week in, week out. It's an absolutely fantastic vegetable and it's full of loads of different vitamins and minerals and loads of calcium as well, which is super important to get into your parrot's diet. You can use tender stem broccoli or normal broccoli, either one works. And this is also a really good one for if your bird really isn't that keen on vegetables because you can uh, cut it really, really finely and it kind of mimics seeds, as you can kind of see there. So broccoli is fantastic to include in any, any chop that you make. Next up are green beans. My birds absolutely love green beans because they're really crunchy um, and they like finding the little beans inside. So I've just chopped those really finely as well. You can give them a chunkier chop, but my birds really do prefer a much finer chop. And then finally, I also have dried beetroot. Now I would use fresh, but it is so messy that I prefer to use dried. This is from Tidy Mix. Um, and also adding this dried beetroot will absorb some of the extra moisture from all of the other vegetables. So it's a really good one to include as well. And it kind of incorporates most of the colors of the rainbow. Now with leafy greens, I don't put any kind of leafy greens in my chop. I have them separate because I find they also wilt within the chop. Um, so I also use them in different ways too, like threading them through the bars and uh, making it more of an enriching experience to include my bird's diet. So I'm going to start putting this chop together. If you can hear any screaming or flying, it's because chip and fish are out and about because they're being really noisy. So I'm going to start off with my red bell pepper, pop that in my bowl, pop that to one side, and then the grated carrot, pop that in my bowl, and just basically add everything. And once you have, you can give it a good mix up and then see if you're missing anything or if it's looking okay. <laughs> I told you they were going to be naughty. It's the joys of working with animals. So let's add 
the dried beetroot as well. So that's all of the ingredients added. Pop everything to one side and then just grab a spoon and just start mixing it up until you've got your desired result. So here is the finished result, the rainbow chop. It's got loads of different vitamins and minerals in there and is a fantastic addition to your bird's diet. I normally make my chop roughly once a week, but it kind of depends on how the vegetables are looking. Sometimes I make it every three or four days, it really depends. But having lots of color in there means you're gonna get loads of different vitamins and it's gonna be a really healthy way to feed your bird. So next up is my courgette and sweet balls. So to start off with, you're going to need some peeled courgette, some sweet potato that's been mashed, and then anything else you'd like to add in it that you think your birds will like, for example, pellets. So I've got my courgette here. Now I've finally peeled this. You can buy it pre-prepared, but I've just done it myself because it's loads easier. And the idea behind this sort of recipe is just to present food in a different kind of way. So I've got this peeled courgette in the middle of a plate, and then I'm gonna take my sweet potato. Now I cook this sweet potato in the microwave for 10 minutes, as if I was doing a baked potato, cut it in half and then just scooped out the innards, um, and then you have perfect mashed sweet potato. Sweet potato is a fantastic addition to your bird's diet. There's loads and loads of vitamins in there, so definitely one to try out. And then I've got my pellets. Now I've mentioned before, the only pellet brand that I recommend is Topps Pellets. And if your bird is maybe not as interested as trying pellets, this is another way that you can get them to maybe give them a go because it's in something really tasty like the sweet potato. So I'll pop the courgette just to one side because that's already prepared. And then I'll just take a few of my pellets and I'll add it to the mashed sweet potato. This will get a little bit messy but hopefully your birds will enjoy it. And then once you've added a few pellets, you can just kind of mash it all together and then start to make your sweet balls rather than meatballs. So I'll just grab a handful here and I'll just kind of make it into a little ball shape. Obviously you can change this depending on the size of your bird, but um, they're probably just gonna nibble at it anyway rather than hold it. And then you can pop that onto your little meal there and they'll do same with the rest of it until we have used up all of the ingredients so here is the finished result your courgette and sweet balls now you can add other things into your sweet balls for example any leftovers from your chop such as bell peppers or sweet corn or even a little bit of seed as well just to get them interested in trying all these new things so as i said it's just another fun way of presenting your vegetables to your birds in the hopes that they're going to try some new things and have a much healthier diet And finally, we're gonna make our fruity dessert pizzas for the birds. Now for the pizza bases, I've gone for some nice ripe banana. I've sliced that quite thinly and I'm just gonna make a few different ones to give you some examples. For the pizza sauce, I've just got some raspberries and I've just used the back of the spoon to just smush them in this bowl. And that's gonna make a nice kind of sauce for the pizza. And then finally, you're just gonna to wanna to top it with just some fun little treats for your birds. For example, I've got some chopped mint here, a nice addition to this treat. I've got some tidy mix sesame sticks, which are Piggle's favorite. I've also got some millet that I'm gonna crumble on top to kind of pretend it's cheese. I would never give my birds cheese because it's really not good for them and they are lactose intolerant, if you didn't know. And then I've also got some chopped almonds as well. So I'm gonna start preparing them and then I'll show you what they look like at the end. So to start off with, let's get some of our pizza sauce. And then you're just gonna pop it on top of the banana and again with this one the idea of it is just to present food in a different way so it's not always in a bowl just to make it a bit more interesting so there's some examples there popping a pizza sauce on and then i'll get my tiny uh, tidy mix sesame stick and just crumble it on top then for another one i'll get a couple of bits of mint and i'll leave those there I'll get my millet, I'll just sprinkle it over the top, and then I'll also add a couple of pieces of almond on there too. So I'm gonna to prepare the rest of them and I'll show you what they look like when I'm finished. So there you have your birdie pizzas. I think they kind of look like bruschetta as well, or canapes, so whatever you think. Let me know in the comments what you think they should be, pizzas, bruschetta, canapes, or something else. 
But um, again, they're a really fun way of trying to get your bird to eat something fresh. And also, depending on what you put on top, you can also share these with your birds, just like with the chop and also with the courgette and sweet balls. So it doesn't have to be just a, a venue. you. If your bird likes to enjoy some of the things that you like to eat, then maybe you can share some of these treats too. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing these recipes and I hope you can try them out too as well. Let me know in the comments what your birds think of them or if you have any other recipes you'd like to share with the community, that would be super as well. I hope you and your birds are having a fantastic week. Mine are being really noisy, so I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later.